Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm in a mood. We're just gonna roll with it. But um bum Uh wow. That's the sound in my household if I've had kind of like a rough go at it or I uh, just like ate too much salt the night before or too many inflammatory foods. But more more often than not, it's the sound you hear when I've had a cry. These things are awesome. This is something I picked up at Bed Bath Beyond. This is not sponsored. This is so random to start a video like this, you guys. We are gonna do a full get ready with new products that I have been dying to test. I'm actually so excited. Literally, where'd it go? Um, hello, G whoa, gorgeous, right? Like, look at this Pat McGrath eyeshadow. I have new Laura Mercier primers. Gosh, there's just so much. Oh, I have the Fenty mascara. So just like a lot of new stuff that I have been like going like this, waiting, watching, um, ordering, and collecting to sit down and do a get ready with you guys. And I'm really, really excited about it. Yay, makeup. Um, but then I like had a, ooh life moment and I just don't feel like concealing much anymore. I think I'm in this new place where, shoot man, if I have a bad day and I cry and I look puffy and my eyes look sad, I just wanna have the freedom to tell you guys because I'm human, I'm just like you watching at home in the sense that my feelings get all over the place sometimes and I'm so human and so sensitive and I think there's this thing in our heads that we think creators or any public figures at all on any level, whether they're in sports, entertainment, music, YouTube, whatever, that we somehow have this like thicker skin or superpower to not feel a lot of the energy that's thrown our way. And for the most part, let me tell you, I can put on a great show as far as being like, I'm professional, I run my companies, I'm so happy to be here and I'm not gonna let any of that get to me. And I will do what I can to not let it show. But more recently, I watch my videos and it shows, I see it. I know you guys pick up on it in the comments I read like, is she okay? Like what's going on? Is she kind of sad? Like what's going on? And yeah, it's uh, it's been a rough, I wanna say couple of months, but the reality is, man, 2019 just changed me entirely. It changed who I am. It changed what is most important to me. It wrecked my world and I've been putting the pieces back together and it's a stronger foundation, which I'm so grateful for. But every time certain anxieties kind of come up to the surface, it affects me. And then I had the whole health thing, which is very much tied to stress. Endometriosis is something that I do wanna speak on more openly on my channel. I recently talked about it. And the reason I wanna speak about it more openly in the future moving forward is because it is totally invisible. And it is one of those things where people do the hard eye roll and they're like, oh, you had a bad period. You had, oh, it takes a mitol, it's fine, you're overreacting. But it's so much more and because it does affect one in 10 women, I really have a passion to talk about it. And I love hearing so many of you guys in the comments share with me that it's helped you in some way just to even be seen or to feel not alone. And that itself is enough for me to want to continue being open. So here's to a new year, it's 2020, and I just am gonna stay in this energy of letting you guys know where I'm at. And if I'm having a bad day and I'm filming, it's a bad day and I'm filming and we're hanging out, you know, like no different than if I'm having the best day ever and we're hanging out. Like, isn't that the great thing about makeup is that it can be our beautifying helping hand on the crappy days of life and on the best days. So let's get into a little bit of priming and just chatting about stuff, you know, like why not? Um, I am clearly trying to be J-Lo at the moment, well, I mean, always, uh, with my earrings in before I do foundation. I always like test out outfits and I'm like, ooh, would hoops go? I don't know, let's try it out. And then I sit down to do my makeup and I'm like, um, you're gonna get foundation like all over your jewelry. What are you doing? Let's get to priming. I have, ooh, you guys, I was sent all of these primers from Laura Mercier, which Laura Mercier makes excellent primers. And she's one of the first, I think Smashbox really is the OG 
bringing primers out to the masses kind of a brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. They probably didn't invent the first primer, but as far as making something that exists for professionals more readily available for consumers. Okay, so she has a blurring primer called the Pure Canvas Primer and it is silicone free. We're gonna use this. Usually blurring primers almost always have silicone, so I am curious to see how this one works out. But first, there is the perfecting, hydrating, illuminating. There's also the Power Canvas Power Primer. I'm gonna go with illuminating and then do a little bit of blurring. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling more magical already. Um. Okay, now I just like tired and shiny. Step one, I'm gonna go in with my blendiful. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this a lot. I love this tool. I think it's the best ever. Um, I'm so happy that a lot of you guys, so far from what I can see, really like the breakdown and how to use it. I do wanna do like a 10 minute challenge video. If you guys wanna see that, please thumbs up this one and leave me comments and just let me know everywhere you can. Just be like, we want that 10 minute challenge. Make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell so that you're notified of my upcoming videos. I really wanna film that soon. And now we're gonna foundation. And I'm excited about this. This is from Haley's and I've talked about Haley's products before. I talked about their matte foundation. I have never used this one. This is the Reform Liquid Lux Luminous Finish Foundation. I don't know who I am. 2020 is already just kind of like changing me because I like glowier skin right now, even in my foundation. Um, a lot of people will say that with the Blendiful, something that they do notice is that it has a more matte finish. And if you're someone that likes to juice up the skin, I love saying that, just like juice it up. Uh, definitely use a hydrating mist at the end of your routine. Best of both worlds, you're gonna get a very long wear look that is also charged with some moisture and to the eye just looks very natural and moisturized, but is very, very long wearing. So if you ever by the end of your routine, look in the mirror and you're like, whoa, that's too much powder, too much coverage, too much everything, tone it down with a good hydrating setting mist. Okay, I'm gonna check the color on this one. This is three, 325. That looks actually, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Let's see what 250 looks like. Mm, it's a very loud plane. I'm also sensing some intense oxidation. I'm, hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna be a high maintenance diva, what's new? And I'm gonna take 225 and 325 and just give them a good mix because I like the undertone of this one right here. This is too yellow for me, this is too light. So I'm just going off of a glass palette and I am just kind of stamping the Blendiful in here. It's pretty saturated. This is a little yellow for me. I don't know that I'm like vibing on the undertone of this. All right, we're, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. We're taking all of this off until, until later. Ugh. All right, breaking the rules. Something that I do like to do to go down the neck, if I find myself in the predicament of not having my foundation exactly match me. Sadly, this happens more often than I would like. Usually because I'm trying out new foundation and things oxidize. And also I find that I have an interesting undertone that sways both warm and cool toned. It's just like, I'm very neutral, but it's hard to find that perfect neutral, so. I like to take a body product, like the one I just showed you that's from the drugstore, and I tend to mix that in a little bit with whatever foundation I'm using, and then I will just kind of go down on the neck that way, and it has a little more luminosity and not as heavy of coverage. It looks more natural, 
it's more long wearing because typically these body products are made to be more transfer resistant for the body. They're a little more intense, but they're not as pigmented in actual coverage, which is nice when you join hands that with your foundation and just kind of get down on the neck here. Everything will match. And now we conceal. The dark circles from being too stressed out, not sleeping, all of that good stuff, you know. Thank God for makeup sometimes. I'm really sensitive and I stress out too easily and I think that in my mind, I wanna to present to the world that I am very in charge and controlled and that I maybe don't let as much get to me as I actually do because I wanna be a role model for positivity and I wanna show people that you don't have to listen to the hate and that you can move forward with elegance. It does affect me and it just started piling up in a weird way where I just wanted to just like burst. And then the pressure of like letting down the fact that I'm leading two brands and still filming just has become a lot. And I also don't wanna lose the connection that I have with you guys because I love connecting with you. And that's why I insanely, like to an insane level, will go in the DMs and like reach out and check in on how you're doing. And I want you to know that you matter and that I see you. And if you do a look with my palette or you're enjoying my channel and you say something, I will do all that I can to really show you that I see it and I care. Um, but it has gotten to this really crazy point where it's just more than one person can handle in one day And I have, I've had to accept that and let it go and it's like part of me doesn't want to and it's really emotional Because I like doing all of the work myself, but it's getting to that place where it's just Impossible, so that's kind of part of the stress if I want to touch on like my bad day and I know everyone out there has a different day and that my bad day is probably a lot better than other people's really bad day, you know, but problems are problems. And I've gotten to this place where I'm like, no, I think I can just talk about it. And it doesn't mean that I'm a victim or seeking attention or pity or any of that. What I'm seeking, and I mean this like very, very deeply, I'm just seeking to connect and be understood and have you guys kind of know through this whole crazy journey of building this you know, channel here on YouTube and then off of that building other brands and doing really exciting things. It didn't come with a how-to guide for one. <laughs> um, I just kind of went with the flow and I have not always made the correct choices. You know, I, I've learned as I've grown and I have gotten stronger, but I'm not bulletproof and I don't want to be. You know, I wanna still feel things enough to make the feedback matter. There's no like one way to do it. There's no right way to do it. And that's the crazy part is you know that when you say anything that someone's gonna come at you and be like, nope, you didn't think of this and you did that wrong and no. And that's the part of it that I have to just let go of and be like, you know what? I think that my audience is here for me enough to understand what I'm trying to accomplish with creating better content on my channel, with creating products and building my brands and reaching, you know, so high, you know, sky's the limit. Like you guys get that. And I have to remember that I need to focus on the good noise and not the bad. And I have failed at doing that over the past year. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I wish I would say like over the past month, but over the past year, there's a lot I could say. And maybe one day I will. I always think about that and it kind of keeps me up a little bit. And it, it sits with me when I wake up in the morning of how much I want to explain myself. And then there's part of me that feels like the truth does not need an explanation and eventually it'll find its way on its own and it's not my job. So for now, I am just moving forward in that and focusing on the things that I do love and focusing on bettering myself by being more vulnerable and opening up and letting you guys know that if I look like crazy um, resting bee face that either I'm in pain, I have a migraine, maybe I'm just in a bad mood, or I'm sad about something, I don't know, like life, right? Like it happens, it happens to all of us and it definitely happens to me. And I don't need any like special pity for it. I just, you know, I need you to know that, that it happens, I guess. 
I don't know you guys, this foundation is not covering me as much as I want it to and it's sadly doing that thing where it looks makeup-y. Yeah, I don't know that I'm down with this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm breaking the rules just because there are no rules. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Shiseido and just kind of spot correct the areas where I want a little bit Okay, because I want this to be a very long video for you guys, okay? Just settle on in. I'm gonna take another concealer. I promise we'll get to eyes very shortly here. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Circle Delete from Jane Iredell. I used the sample when I worked at Beauty Collection because I couldn't afford it. How gross. I don't know what I was thinking. When I was younger, I would literally go to work and I would do my makeup with the testers. Ugh. That is so gross. Now that I understand how makeup harbors bacteria and so many fingertips like poking in the different makeups, like don't, oh my God, please, please, PSA warning. It is flu season, people are sick. Do not put on tester lipstick. Do not put on tester eyeliner. Just, my phone agreed. Just don't, you know, just don't do it. Not worth it. That is mighty nice, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna set the face with a setting powder that I bought. Dude, I bought this in Arizona so long ago. I bought the Jackie Ina palette and I bought an eyeliner and this from Sephora and I had planned on doing like an Anastasia video. For one reason or another, I just, I don't know, I just, it just didn't happen, um, but I had meant to. I just found this in the drawer, like long story short and I'm like, oh yeah, I wanted to try that. I'm gonna flip my little blender to the other side. I'm going to dip into here. This is the shade Vanilla. That's pretty nice, actually. I don't know that it's the best for baking because it just kind of disappears almost like an HD powder, but it's not bad. All right, I'm just gonna kind of chill out while I bake my face. No, I'm gonna put on some brows. I kid you not, you guys, I get the weirdest songs stuck in my head. I have the Oliver Twist soundtrack. When I was like, I need some more, all I was thinking is, please, sir, I'll have some more. And then that turns into literally the soundtrack just like blaring in my mind. I love a good musical. Do you guys love musicals or is that just like not a thing anymore? I really, really wish that music was not as strict as far as copyright goes, because I really think that I could do a full makeup routine with like different songs that would like make sense for each part, because in my mind, we switched straight off of Oliver Twist, you know, with the Please Sir, I'd Like Some More, which is pretty much how I feel about foundation and the whole process, to me thinking about the length of time that it takes to do my eyebrows, and then I was like, what song would that be? And all I think of is from The Greatest Showman, Never Enough. I literally have to tell myself like, back away, stop it. You're gone too far now. Like just put the eyebrow pencil down. Okay, so I don't even know what to talk about. Um, I'm gonna brighten up just a little eensy weensy teensy tiny little bit on the inner portion with a little cover girl. So I did a collab with Rach Loves and we had a great time reconnecting. Filming that day for me on my end did not go as well as I like I would have liked because I was in, mm, I was in a significant amount of pain, but I was doing my thing where I'm like, I'm tough, I'm, I'm powerful, I'm good, like I can do this, like it doesn't matter, like fight through it and collapse later. And she was here, literally we had one day to film. We filmed two videos back to back. A lot of people were up in arms that I gave her a dirty blendiful and I didn't, I had given her one that I had used on her in her video on her channel that we filmed first. That video took several hours to film. We washed our faces, sat back down, did my video for my channel. By that time it was dark outside. It had just been like a long day and I, you know, migraine, hormones, the whole stuff kicking off. Um, Cause it's been a couple of months of just being kind of off. And that's a big reason why I've pulled back to two a week because my health needs to be like the number one priority. So filming that, I thought in my head that I kind of 
did okay, but there was no redo. It's not like I could be like, um, beep, boop, boop, beep, like, hey, can you come back from Canada and we can like redo this because I think I look like really angry. I have nothing but absolute love for Rachel and I've known her for so long. She's one of the, you know, true blue OGs of YouTube and we connected years and years and years ago and I had a good time filming with her. I wish I would have been more energetic and able to focus a little bit better, but I still had a good time and I hope you guys just like give her so much love and I'm so sorry that I felt a need then to not explain where I was at to even her or to my audience so that now I'm feeling, again, a need to explain. Um, I got a lot, a lot of messages saying that the reason that I was angry in that video is because I was jealous that uh, Rachel is pregnant and I'm not. And that was just mean. Like, you guys, focus on the happiness in your life. Why do you need to say that to anyone? Like, that is so rude. Um, no, I love babies and I love when people that I care about are pregnant and building their families and building on love and why would I ever, ever have any like ounce of negativity attached to that at all? Like that blew my freaking mind. Okay, so we're gonna go in with more uh, Jane Iredell. Such a cute little blush compact. I am gonna take the Blendiful. Bam, 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 bam. Now this is a mineral blush, so I'm sure you guys are like, oh my God. It will actually melt into the skin really nicely. You guys make weird blush face. Like most people smile like, and they put on their blush. Like I literally go like, I don't know. I have the weirdest blush face. I actually have weird makeup faces in general. My sisters love to roast me for that. I specifically do this thing where I go. And the worst part is I make the faces when I'm applying makeup on people. Please tell me I have a new highlighter. Do I have a new highlighter? Maybe not. Um, I do have this from NARS. Ooh, this has highlight. Oh my God, look at these blushes in here. This is really pretty. I'm gonna use a small brush to highlight. I don't want to get a lot of highlight in a broader area for today, so I'm not gonna use the Blendiful. Again, I will reiterate always, you don't have to use the Blendiful for everything. I do not suggest that as like the only tool for the rest of your life. It's there if you need it. It's there depending on the product. If you think it applies it better, then of course, you know, why not? And I am gonna take the Blendiful and go into, that's not really bronzer. I don't really have bronzer. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my RCMA and I'm just gonna hit the perimeter of the face. Mmm, chocolate milk. Oh my God, I look crazy. I just got really inspired by JLo in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I am gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury, amazing. This is hot gossip. Oh, so good. That's quite a combo actually. This is the Buxom in Hush Hush. I'm gonna take this Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. Ooh, that sounds really comforting and my lips sure do need it. Oily, but like in a good way. It has such an interesting texture. That's really nice. Okay, we need to move to eyes. I don't think I'm gonna do that much to the eyes because I'm kind of liking this whole vibe of not having a ton of heaviness. I will share with you a way that I do like priming my eyes right now and I do use the Blendiful for this. I take my RCMA palette, you guys see me use this all of the time and I'll take the tip of it, I'll go into one of the lighter shades first and I will just pack that all over the lid and then what I do is I go right into one of the darker shades and I go on the outer and bring it through the crease. And there's something about the way a cream that is deeper in tone will blend into your skin versus an eyeshadow that just, it just looks so natural. All right, you guys, I do kind of want to play around with a little bit of shine from this guy right here. This is new from Pat McGrath and I love how bright the packaging is. This is $65. Oh, it's expensive, but Pat McGrath products are so nice. Like they're just really well made. 
quality is there. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of graze over what I've done a little bit with the deeper shade right here. And I'm using a Scott Barnes brush. And I'm just gonna kind of detail the outer edge really quickly. And what's nice about having that cream laid down already is that that serves as my primer. It's gonna help me with my blending and it's also gonna help the product to wear a lot longer because the powder has something to almost grip to, which is nice. Hitting that outer edge, wow, this is pigmented. And this is like the lazy girl's move. I actually do like going back in with the Blendiful. And what I will do is I'll stamp on top and kind of move that outer edge shade forward. And now for her final trick. Is this my final trick? I don't know. I'm gonna go in with my fingertip on this shiny shade right here. I wanna go underneath the lower lash line just a smidge. I'm gonna take that lighter matte brown and just kind of dust underneath here. I do, out of curiosity, wanna take just a tiny little bit of this gold. I didn't think those would go together very well, but that's actually really nice. I think it's time for my earrings to come back on and for a little mascara to happen. And we have that from Fenty. Ooh, I like the brush. I am giving Fenty the curveball test of not curling my lashes for a few different reasons. One, I am too lazy to find my eyelash curler. Lord knows I have probably 12 of them. Can I find them? No. Absolutely not. But also I sometimes like seeing how a mascara will perform without a lash curler because really the reality of getting ready quickly in the morning for me sometimes means grab a concealer, grab a mascara, grab a lip and get out the door. Rihanna. Oh my God. This is actually really nice. Okay, so to talk about something like positive and happiness, something that James and I did on our anniversary trip, we went inner tubing and it was so much fun. I underestimated the amount of fun it was. It was literally like the best free falling, happiness, laughing feeling I've had in a long, long time. Jackson Hole is gorgeous, by the way, very spiritual had just such a peaceful, beautiful time being in the snow, being away from it all. We did a little shopping in town, which was super cute. We kind of just stayed kind of holed up in our room and would eat good food and watch shows and hang out, which was really nice too. I will say this though, we had a room where you could see the slopes like out of your window. And when they would clean it in the middle of the night, like I will insert a clip, you guys. I remember looking at James and I was like, James, imagine this. We are deserted here and there's no one. And it's like the shining and these trucks with their lights that are creepy coming down the mountain are like coming straight to us. And he just would like start laughing at me. But every time I just like look out the window and I'm like, oh my God, it's terrifying. So I'm gonna give myself a good spray down and we'll be done. I really love most everything that I tried. Sadly, the foundation, I prefer the matte version versus the luminous, which is odd. The matte has more coverage. The luminous wasn't as luminous as I would want it to be. The primers so far feel great. The powder, I gotta try it a few more times just because it's that odd mix of an HD powder that's really poor minimizing and blurring, which is so good, and pigment. It's not really one or the other, it's both, which I think it's nice. I wanna try it with a few different foundations. The Doll 10 Concealer, so-so. The Circle Delete, mm, compared to my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Peach Under Eye Corrector, I don't know that it is as good as that. Uh, I really do love the Mineral Blush. Mineral Blush is so forgiving if you just wanna blend, 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 put a different powder on top. The NARS palette with the highlight, it's pretty. I probably have other highlighters right now that I'm gravitating toward more. I just really wanted to dive into that particular palette. I had it on hand, I was excited to use it. Some of the blushes in there look so stunning and I wanna play with those as well. Even though 
NARS blushes for me, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they don't blend out as much as I would want them to. The color story in that one with that kind of orangier shade in the center is really, really pretty to me. So I'm gonna play with that some more. I'm loving this mascara. Pat McGrath does not disappoint with eyeshadows. I mean, they went on like a dream. The color is not something I normally would do. So I'm happy that I tried that combo. It's really great. And that is about that, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for hanging out with me, just getting ready, trying new products and sharing probably too much about my life and kind of where I'm at right now. But I just feel like I wanna embrace everything a little bit more and almost like come out of hiding because I have felt a disconnect and I have felt like I have shied away from all social just out of fear because I feel like I have a deep need to be understood and a lot of the time I'm not and I'm in my work so much and I work so hard and it matters to me and that's priority but also I need to be able to find a way to connect with you guys and trust you enough to let you in and just remember the start of all of this is like, you know, it's me and you and it's these videos here on this platform and that's gonna stay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna stay making content, reviewing product, and even if I have kind of an off moment, whether it is with my emotional state and just feeling kind of bluesy, or physical with endometriosis, or just you know stress in general in life, I wanna find a way to be more open. I'm just putting that out there and making it my goal. I said 2020, like the resolution was to be more fearless, and sometimes being vulnerable is very scary. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm doing great, I'm doing good. You don't need to worry, like onward and upward, we are good. Uh, and I'm really, really happy that you guys like the Blendiful video. I will link that below. I want to add in there one more thing and I will continue educating more and more and more as I find different techniques. If you're popping this in your lingerie bag, like a small delicates bag to put in the washer, it's great to pop it in there straight away if you've used this with powder only. But if you've done what I do and it's like saturated with foundation, give it a good like little spot clean first, rinse it off and then put it in there to fully sanitize the product. That works really, really well. And always make sure that you are going over a bar soap. If you have a stubborn stain, go over the soap like this itself. Don't get in the habit of doing this. I think that's where some people get a little aggressive and you don't wanna ruin the fabric here. You know, you don't need to be that rough with it. So trust that it will clean, give it a little soap, give it a little rub on the bar of soap, let it sink and do its thing and loosen up all of that liquid if you have used it with liquid and then you will rinse and be good to go. And I hope that helps you out and I love you guys so much. And thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.